What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today is another Geeked Out convention and we're on our way. This is our fourth time that we're going. Let's see what we pick up. So here is everything that we picked up today at Geeked Out. Let's just start off with the Funkos here. So at first we did get Ant-Man. I've been looking for him for a while. They did have the price tag for $18, but we did get five Funkos from that booth specifically and they gave us this one for $15. At another booth, we did find Black Panther. This is from Civil War, so the first appearance in the MCU. And we got this Funko for $10, which I don't have any Black Panther, so I thought that was a great price for this one. Next up, we've been looking for some Toy Story Funkos. So we did get Buzz Lightyear and Woody from the same booth. They did have the price tag for $20 each. He did give us a discount for buying both for $35, which we thought was great. The Woody here, you can see his right arm kind of looks like it's not how it's supposed to. But I don't know if it's been re-glued. But for a discount, still even $20 each would have been fine. But $35 for both was a great price. We also did pick up Alien. Alien we've been looking for for a while. I don't think it's the original one. But it did have the price tag for $25. And we did get it for $20. So that was a nice price for that one. Next up, the last booth that we went to... We've seen these ones. I was looking at some other ones like Cyclops and Storm. They had the price tag for $50 each, so I just couldn't get those right now. But we did get Magneto for $30 and the comic version of Wolverine for $30 as well. These ones here, I did ask if they take $50 for both, and they were really firm. So we did pay $30 each for them. Next up, we got Silver Surfer. I've been looking for him, and I could have got him years ago, but I didn't know if the surfboard would fit on our display. So I decided just to pick him up today. That was only $15. Next up, we have the original Alice. This one here was $25, which I thought was a great price for that. We also have Donald Duck right here. He does look a little bit angry on this one. I don't think we noticed that earlier, but this one was $15. Winnie the Pooh was $35. And we got, I believe, Alice and Winnie Pooh from the same booth that we always buy stuff from, from Geeked Out. So that was a really nice one, him sleeping here, or in his uh, sleep gear, I guess. Now, I actually finally got the castle, the Sleeping Beauty castle, and it does come with Mickey Mouse. This is the 65th anniversary, and this was only $25, which we've seen these big ones at conventions before, and they're usually a lot more money. For $25, this was a great addition to her collection. We also have Mickey Mouse. This one here was $26. It has a nice little stand that it's on, so that's really cool for that one. I think it's the 50th anniversary. And then she also got Ursula. And Ursula, it did have $16, but it's one of the booths that we bought a bunch of stuff from. So they gave it to us for $15, which was a great one for her. Now over here, we did find a booth that had these little coins. So she got a Stitch coin for $10, which is really cool. I also picked up these two little mini Funkos. We have Vision and Doctor Strange from the comics. Two for $5, which was great. I finally got my Ghosts from Pac-Man. I was looking for the uh, blue one, but this one here out of the box was only $15. This was the first booth that we went to. And for $15, I know this one's around $30, so that was a great find for me. I also picked up Dukes of Hazard for the PS2 for $20. This one does not have the manual, but it is in great condition. And I finally found the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Party Wagon, the small one, which are the cars that I go for for $20, so that was a great find for my Ninja Turtle shelf, which I'm gonna be putting together very soon. And of course, I had to pick up comics, so I did get uh, all these comics for $100. They are, I think it would have been a total of $120, but since we were buying so much, they did accept the $100 offer. So we have Transformers issue 22. This is the anniversary one that has the cool border. So it did have $20 on that, which I thought was a good price. Next up, we have a bunch of what ifs. So we have what if number 19, what if number 12, what if number 8, what if number 30, what if Spider-Man's clone lived, that's a nice one, 36, and the most expensive one that I picked up 
was number 49, What If Silver Surfer Possessed the Infinity Gauntlets? This one was $30, so I think that it only knocked like $20 off the price when we offered the $20 or the $100 for all of them. They did have a lot more What If comics, but I decided just to get these ones, even though I could have probably filled in the gaps of more that I was missing. I thought this was a good pickup for me. So great additions to our collection, some more comics that I was missing, some uh, video game that I was missing, and then a lot of Funkos that we wanted to get. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you guys enjoy our collecting videos. We'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.